If I gave you twenty dollars, would you sniff my armpit? Make it fifty. Your feet smell? Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. You know, there's uh, people who get paid for doing that sort of thing, but they're going to be out of a job soon. There's a machine now called the electronic sniffer that can do that for you. The electronic, electronic nose? nose. You kid? No. Would you like to meet the nose? <laughs> sure. I want to see this electronic nose, definitely. You want to see that? Yeah, definitely. You want to smell that? I want to smell it, brother. <laughs> well, smell this. The Scottish Highlands, the wild flowers, the salty air, even the faint smell of whiskey. But unfortunately, through television, we can't convey those smells. Until now. Thanks to this machine, TV Nation is the first show to actually let you see the smell. And here it is. The smell of the Highlands. Courtesy of the electronic nose. The electronic nose uses advanced stealth bomber technology to detect odors. But there's already a perfectly good low-tech device for smelling, the human nose. That's why your deodorant, your artificially scented new car, and your dog food smell just right. I smell feet and get paid for it. There are thousands of sniffers employed in companies around the world today. It sounds ridiculous, but um, it makes people smile. Oh, Minty. The Department of Food Science at Reading University in England trains people for the many careers that involve smelling things. Yes, there's a typicality, typicality of masculinity there. Really? Thank you. First, they learn the vocabulary. Ponky. What do you mean by it? Pongy. Pongy. But stronger. Oh, okay. After this kind of rigorous study, they're ready to smell anything. Slightly musty, um, with a hint of um, gorgonzola. <laughs> I'd met the people who smelled the old-fashioned way. Now it was time to meet their electronic competition. I've actually brought something along that I think would make an excellent subject Have for you, a test. Really? Yeah. Oh, what you'd like to show us? Oh, yeah, my it's goodness. a pair of my yeah. socks. Oh, very nice. Thank you. They are a little bit smelly. Don't get too close. So who buys uh, electronic noses? Well, it's some of the big industrial giants around the world, like Shell and Exxon, General Electric, and believe it or not, General Motors. And as we all know, when you get into a new car, it's important to have the new car smell correctly. There's a fingerprint of? Of your sock. That's incredible. How does that compare so with other socks? Well, I'd say uh, it's fairly typical of a sock that's been worn for quite a long period of time. Yeah. Companies were lining up to get into this aroma scan marketing seminar. They wanted to learn more about the machine that could smell round the clock. But I was still skeptical. Could a machine really outsmell the human nose? We're in the cellar of the Stafford Hotel in London for a wine tasting showdown between man and machine. On my right, Charles Metcalf, world champion wine taster. On my left, aroma scan, the electronic nose. This is Gino Nardella. Our referee. Over to you, Gino. Yeah, we have our first wine. The pump has taken the smell from the wine. It's buttery. It's got a nice acidity. I would suggest that it's made from the Chardonnay grape variety. It is now telling us that the sample is Chablis. Premier Cru Vaillant 1992. Yes, it's a Chablis Premier Cru Vaillant 1992. I think the machine actually, you know, got it um, right 100% and uh, Mr. Metcalf did very well indeed. I was trying to cheer him up, but he'd lost and he knew it. Things looked bad for human sniffers. What about the sniffers who are employed sniffing car seats at the moment? What's going to happen to them? Well, I don't think they would actually mind losing the job of sm smelling car seats all day long. It's not a particularly pleasant job to Won't do. Won't mind losing their jobs? Now there's a management philosophy for the 90s. A long time. Not surprisingly, the human noses are running scared. Do you know anything about the electronic nose? The detail, I don't know much about, except that uh, one day it may put me out of a job. The machine costs a lot of money to make but they won't have any wages to pay out. So what would you like to say to the people who are developing the electronic nose? Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but at least the sniffers aren't alone in their struggle against the infernal machine. TV Nation is on their side, and so is the public, including the afternoon drinkers at one of London's oldest pubs. I don't want an electronic nose sniff in my beer. Here's the human 
newspapers. Forty-five percent of Americans believe that if space aliens could pick up C-SPAN and see Sonny Bono speaking on the floor of Congress, they would never visit the Earth.